Jake Seeley joining me now. He's a senior fantasy football writer at The Athletic, always posting great content over there, so be sure to check it out. He also hosts the All In Football podcast and joins us here on the show each week. Jake, let's start with the big quarterback news from the weekend. Lamar Jackson looks like he's going to miss some time with a quad injury, and Jimmy Garoppolo going to be out for a little while with that foot injury. What's the move if one of these guys was your quarterback? Yeah, well, Lamar Jackson, the easy pivot is to go to Tyler Huntley for his rushing upside. Uh, the ceiling might not be as high as Lamar Jackson's, but that's the easy one. If you miss out on Tyler Huntley because other people try to block you, and you look, Mike White has been playing great for the Jets since he took over for Zach Wilson. Or the sneaky one for this week specifically, Jared Goff, when he's indoors, especially at home, puts up big scores. Almost all of his touchdowns except for one have come indoors versus outdoors. And a quarterback that's on a bye week, I think six total teams in the NFL this week are on bye, so this is a big deal for a lot of people. Uh, Taylor Heineke, he's on a bye, so uh, in a deeper league, he might be your quarterback. Do you turn to, I guess, one of those other guys as well, like you said, Huntley, Goff, some of those other guys? You do, and I would say more of a temporary situation with Jared Goff because I would like Heineke more for the stretch run, even coming out of that bye to face the Giants yet again, and then some good matchups after that. Heineke has been a borderline QB1 top 12 quarterback in most leagues. All right, Jake, the playoffs start next week. I'm still going through my own scenarios in my league to determine uh, if I got to make it, depending on what happens, who wins, who loses. I'm right on the, the bubble there. Um, any last minute advice to man managers out there? Yeah, we're going to have a different piece of advice next week when we talk about being in the playoffs. But getting into the playoffs, look, this is it. This is your last chance if you're on the bubble, if you need that one last win. Uh, I usually sit here and we talk about it. Don't get cute. Don't overthink things. But now's the time to go for the home run plays. Now's the time to go for the upside. You just got to throw everything in that you could think chips might be in there on the middle of the table. Just push it all in and go for the high upside guys. And now's not the time to play it safe if you've been on the bubble all year long. And as the playoffs approach, so many times managers are looking to have a gem somewhere on their roster that they may have to deploy uh, either this week or in the playoffs. And you have a running back that's probably available in most leagues that you're high on. Who are we talking about here? Yeah, the rookie is Donovan Knight, uh, Bam Knight, as people might have heard. He's been looking great for the Jets as well as Mike White has been. And even if Michael Carter is healthy or back this week or if it's next week, whatever it might be, they've got a one-two punch similar to what they had with Brees Hall before this. So if you look at what Donovan Knight brings between the tackles as a compliment to Michael Carter, if you still need running back help, help and you were kind of hesitant on whether or not it was just a one-week fluke, you can go ahead and buy in and find that solution potentially for this weekend for your playoffs. All right, from Knight to a premier running back in the NFL, Bengals running back Joe Mixon. He's missed the last couple of weeks in concussion protocol. How do we approach this, approach this if he's on your roster? Yeah, I want to talk about this, not just for Joe Mixon, but for anybody. When it comes to concussions, this isn't the same as a knee injury or a hamstring or soft tissue or anything like that. Basically, it's kind of like satellite. You either get it or you don't when there's bad weather. So either you're cleared or you're not. So if Joe Mixon's back out there, yes, Samaj P. Ryan's looked really good. But you wouldn't say, oh, well, they'll have him limited in his first game back. Anybody coming back from concussions, it's always a risk to potentially get a second one. But once you're cleared, you're ready to roll. If you're worried about Joe Mixon, don't be. As long as he's out there to play this week, he can be in your lineup.